Uh, next one we have in is uh, 105-9, and, uh, uh, you know, we're starting to get to the tail end of the 105s, and uh, obviously we, we've talked from a pedigree standpoint. That ties in uh, two of the very best uh, breaking rule sows, uh, you know, different sow lines, but it ties in, uh, you know, two different uh, very prominent sow lines that we've had here. This is 105-9. You know, and you can see that, right, in terms of, of why they're – those sows are dominant and, and been so fun to breed on. Uh, I love that thing's head. That thing's head shape is is badass. I mean, I, I, I'd i love to, to, to have sows that, that, that have that, bring those unique pieces and parts with with that kind of uh, balance and build. This flag-tailed gilt, I think, uh, has, should have a lot of friends all summer long. Yeah, very good pig. I mean, that one lights you up when, when she hits a ring. And, and again, that, that skull is the first thing you see coming out of the gate, and it's going to be impressive. And um, again, you don't want them mug headed, but you don't want them sissy headed either. That one is a stout featured, good shaped head for the show ring. Um, for the breeding pen, looks like a generator, looks like a breeding hog. Um, a stout skull uh, with, with that, that good kind of jawline, squareness of chest, and elevation up front, squareness of, of top, and, and muscle volume is, is a green kind of a pattern. Looks like she's going to expand and grow as she needs to with the right proportions. Man, no excuses on that one all. That's a, that's a very, very good pig. It's a, got a lot, of, uh, lot of good, lot of upside, a lot of upside with no real problems to deal with and a whole lot of extras. Uh, 40 or 90, or I'm sorry, 105-9 female.